welcome back to the channel and in this video i actually wanted to make some sort of like a little number counter but i just discovered these things and these are really cool so these things uh number splitter and number combiner they basically they do as they say what they do is they take you know a number and they split it apart into different singular like power outputs which is actually much more difficult like to do it with like normal logic but that that makes it like way easier and you guys can take well you know obviously we need these i already have a few this so i don't need to buy more but that's about it there's also there's this new one which is a it's called a signal lock i'm still not sure what this does exactly it keeps it on even if it's if the thing is lost which it's it works similar to like a memory cell basically but instead of memory cell always holding it uh, the right side resets it uh, this one the right side does not reset it. so it's, you can use that in some things but i'm not entirely sure what to use that on okay um that's about everything we really need here i already have everything else at my base so let's just take those two gates right here before basically yeah it's like bringing out a number is really difficult like let's say from this number interface right here let's put 500 5422 right taking that number and then turning them into like a display is like really difficult like it is not easy however this new number splitter helps a lot and it's also like very very flexible to use it okay let's just have this here so i'm just gonna put this all behind here so that we can get the zeros showing on them there we go now let's tie these up and now as you can see it'll show all zeros which is fine that's normal okay now let's get let's get to this let's say we have a number interface right over here right what we can do now is we can use a number slot i have one open right here and what this does is we have to connect it to this side this is the number splitter so we have to connect this to here and what it does is it outputs whatever the digits are into separate units here so it starts from right to left so if you can see there's four digits here the first digit is two second digit is two third digit is four five fifth or fourth digit is five so the first digit is will be here We'll take that and let's connect it to all the way over here. Make sure you connect it to both sides. And boom, we can now see two. Same thing goes for everything else. So let's do that. Okay, so we can see here there's 5,422. And oops, I think I made a mistake somewhere. There we go. So, it will now show 5422. Let's did I connect this fifth one. Yep, I did. Okay. So, now let me just move this right here. Move this out of the way. So, oh, see, I disconnected it. It's back to zero. Let's put this connected here. And it shows it. We can then change this to whatever number we want. So, let's do 10,200. It'll show 10,200, which is like super simple now. Like it, this is incredibly simple now. We can make it show one. It will show one. Like that's perfect. We can make it show 500. And it'll show 500. As simple as that. But let's say you want to make it... Right now it's like limited to like five digits. Let's say you want to make it bigger. You want to make it reach a six digit. Well, let's say you put... One, two, three, four, five, six. But as you can see... It shows everything completely fine here, but then it messes up here. The reason for this is that if you look at this instruction here, the fifth output serving as an excess for any remainder. What that means is, let's say we have, we put one, two, three, four, five, six. Right now, it only goes up to the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth digit, not the sixth one. The fifth and sixth are combined. If we go here, as you can see, it's 12, because that's the fifth and sixth digits combined. 
everything else here is completely fine so what we can do is we can quite literally stack it so let's have this over here right a second number splitter then we can take this split on the fifth one bring it here and now we can then continue it so we'll go to this one and then this one right here and now we have the entire thing just like that and it'll show everything completely normally so we do a hundred hundred if we do a thousand a thousand if we do ten thousand ten thousand takes a bit of time because it calculates all of it and if we do hundred thousand hundred thousand like that and just like that we have a neat little number counter that will go all the way up to pay almost 1 million you can just add another one here that's like easy to add but this is used using a number interface how do we actually make a counter well that's when things can get interesting uh we'll, we'll push aside the number combiner for a bit so for a mini number counter we're gonna need two incrementers one for going up for counting up and one for counting down then we're gonna need also a calculator and let's set this to minus like that so then we put this incrementer the left one which is just for adding to the left side and uh, the incrementer for minusing to the right side once that's done we can then have two inputs on each of these we'll just use the switch we have here one for that and one for this and we'll have this here as a reset okay so let's connect this make sure you turn these off then let's try to connect these together so this is for adding this is for subtracting like that and this is for reset reset there we go so now we can have this be over here and right now as you can see it shows nothing because yeah because nothing none of them have anything next let's try adding stuff so if we press on this button once as you can see it it adds power which then adds one number to the incrementer because every time it gets powered on the left side it adds that and you can see it's now to one and it'll get an output of one Every time we press this button, it'll increase by one. I mean, let's just move this thing over here. So now, every time we press this button, every time we press this button once, we'll get an and an, uh, like every time it turns on, basically, we'll get an, an addition to the counter, and we can spam this all we want. As you can see, it's going up by one every single time. Then we can also minus from it by spamming this one. Sixteen, fifteen, just like that. And that's literally it. So we can put these into any inputs. So you can like count stuff going in. Or we can also set it to like you can count the time. Stuff like that. And we can then also just if you want to reset all of it. So let's go to like a ridiculous number. Um, that's gonna, gonna take that's gonna take a really long time. Let's just say 26. We can just say reset. And it resets all of it just like that and that's it that's basically it that's the new number splitters and i already, I already really like this like this just makes making number like number interfaces so much more easier of course the number combiner works in a similar fashion so let's say we have this i think i have one open yep i do what this does is you can basically decode stuff so right now we have our number let's say let's take this out and let's put this number interface into it let's say we have one two three three four five okay right so this is one two three four five yeah we have that what the number combiner does is basically the opposite of splitting where it combines the digits and the way it does here is input one by one put two by ten so like it basically turns them all into one power output on the side here 
so if I put let's say just an LED on this side we'll be able to see the power output right now it's zero and the way you have to you can actually do this is it's actually the opposite so if I were to cut these wires here actually I'm just gonna do this right everything is reset so I'm gonna connect this to this one here we're getting an input of one two three four five yeah, the way you have to connect it is opposites. So to connect the right, the first digit, to this side's first digit. So it's like you have to face at it like this is the, the, the direction you look at it. And the same for this is the direction you're looking at it. It should be like an arrow indicating which one is which way is which. So this on this side is the first digit. And when you look at it this way, this side is the first digit. It's, it's a bit weird, but that's like, it's just like that. Then you just connect everything together. Like so. And as you can see, it decodes it. So first digit, five, second digit, four, third digit, third, fourth digit, second, I have two. What am I saying? And then fifth digit is one. This one, also the same. So first digit, five, second digit, fourth, four. Third digit three, fourth digit two, and fifth digit one, and so it'll give an output of one, two, three, four, five. The one that we got here. And yeah, that's basically what this does. I'm not really sure what this can be useful for, but it can be useful for a lot of things. And if we if we change it, so let's say we change it to six hundred and five, random number, it'll work because it yeah like it will work really easily yeah yeah that's that's that's, that's, that's it it's a really sh simple thing but like this saves a lot of trouble but yeah so yeah that's it for this video um this is showing a showcasing a little number counter and number interface and you can use that for a lot of things actually so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye